hello from the city of Copenhagen in Denmark. When you hear Denmark, and more specifically the city of Copenhagen, it might conjure up images of the Little Mermaid, Tivoli Gardens, which was actually inspired Walt Disney to build Disneyland, and the author Hans Christian Andersen. But Denmark is also a leader in another area, and this one might surprise you. It's called sustainability, and it's the idea of reducing or even eliminating the impact that humans have on the planet. The Danes look at this as a competitive advantage, something that will help them and the rest of us in the future. Today, I have the honor of speaking with Helen Lungard, who is the spokesperson for the Superbike Highway in the Copenhagen region of Denmark. Thank you for joining us, Helen. Thank you. I was here about 30 years ago as well, mm -hmm. and there were bikes, of course, 30 years ago, but now it's impressive, mm -hmm. all the lanes, the lights, there's even like lights at the intersections, mm -hmm. and so now there's also this super highway, so tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about that. As you mentioned, we have had a long history for bicycle planning, and, uh, and we have a, an amazing cycle inf infrastructure for cycling, which means that uh, people do cycle a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we have visionary politicians uh, that they want to improve even more and they want more people to bicycle. Mm -hmm. Also longer trips and just the small trips. Uh, so for this reason they, think, they thought that we might uh, make uh, even higher standards for the bicycle lanes. And then we can get more people to bicycle mm -hmm. and there are good arguments for doing this. Uh, we want to, as you mentioned, we have climate uh, problems, uh, climate change. Uh, urge us to do something about emissions of CO2, um, air pollution and uh, the congestion, we have too many cars uh, yes. and so on, so there are many problems and I want to mention one more, the health, mm. because for the individuals uh, it makes you more health and it yes. gives you more life quality. Mm -hmm. So we really don't just uh, bicycle because of uh, CO2 uh, politics in Copenhagen, we also do it because it's a uh, we think it's healthy and makes us happy. Mm -hmm. So the superhighway is actually going out to what we would call the suburbs of Copenhagen, yes. and not yes. just the city. Yes. So what has, how far does it go right now, and, and what kind of Which usage? It's a, maybe a radius of uh, 20, 15, 20 kilometers we okay. have plans for the, the routes. Mm -hmm. It's a network of uh, lanes that was planned by, by the planners and, mm -hmm. uh, and accepted by the politicians. Mm -hmm. And we and um, and uh, we also were talking to more municipalities um, um, in a distance more than uh, 20 kilometers from oh, wow. Copenhagen now to make it even longer. So, what kinds of things would you expect to see on the super highway? I think there's some amenities or some features that are on there. Yes. Yes. Um, well, you have the pump stations. Uh, uh -huh. If you get a flat tire, you, you may not be you may not be able to fix it. But mm -hmm. if you get you need air for yes. your bicycle, you can do that. I think it's uh, every 1.6 kilometer there would be a pump. Okay. Um, and uh, you have uh, lights, uh, green waves and so on. So if you go with a certain speed, 20 kilometers an hour, mm -hmm. you will be able to, um, to go through all the green traffic lights without stopping all the time. Okay. So this is one of the one of the features of, of the of the concept that you mm -hmm. have less of stops and you move faster this way. Mm -hmm. You also have, which I think is really really important, uh, broad lanes mm -hmm. separated from the cars, uh -huh. which means that if you are a faster rider, you can uh, you can uh, you can go faster without uh, bothering the the other people. Thank you, Helen, so much for giving us the information about the Bicycle Superhighway in the Copenhagen region. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much again for your time. That's okay. Thank you for your interest.